that it will be unlike anything else on this earth. A uh, fair, a uh, amusement park, an exhibition, a city from the Arabian Nights, a metropolis from the future. In fact, a place of hopes and dreams, facts and fancy, all in one. Now, next year, our television show will be coming from this Disneyland. But this year, we want you to see and share with us the experience of building this dream into a reality. Hey friends, I am in Levittown, Pennsylvania at Walt Disney Elementary School. How cool is that? Can you imagine being so special to say, yeah, I went to Walt Disney Elementary School pretty awesome but there are 60 Walt Disney elementary schools or basically schools but this one is a little special because it is the first Walt Disney elementary school and actually Walt Disney himself came here to add a little magic in 1955 the Tullytown School District wanted to dedicate their new school to someone. So they asked the children who were gonna attend the school who they wanted to dedicate the school to, and they all voted for Walt Disney himself. When they reached out to Walt Disney, he was so flattered that he insisted on coming to the dedication here in Pennsylvania. And also, he wanted to add a little Disney magic to the school. So he commissioned Bob Moore to actually create Disney animated cells, woodworking, a whole bunch of Disney magic to line the halls, the gymnasiums, the school in general. It is a living piece of Disney history. So much history that the illustrations alone made it registered for the National Historical Places. Amazing, isn't it? And thanks to the Pensbury School District, we're gonna be able to go inside and actually show you some of those awesome animations that Walt Disney had created just for here and give you a little backstory of his visit to the school. So, let's go do this. And we can see right here, the date stone, which is 1954. The dedication didn't happen until 1955, but building constructed, check look at the cool little sign right here 60th anniversary walt disney elementary school 1955 to 2015 four years later so now that we're going to go into the school i am going to tell you for safety reasons i am going to be very skittish with the shots you know what i mean i want to point out the historical significance of certain stuff and everything like that. I don't want to give a tour per se of the school, but I think that the stuff that they have here is one of a kind and it definitely deserves some recognition. In the lobby though, they do have the Walt Disney Elementary School sign right here and it's I uh, don't know why, but I'm pretty sure it's kept in here because they want to preserve it. It looks like it had a little damage, but it is a beautiful sign. And also in the lobby, a wonderful picture of Walt Disney himself. And this is much older, and you can look in the background. Sorry, there's a lot of glare on it, but you can see the classic cartoon characters here. Mickey, of course. Ooh, Gus Gus from Cinderella, Goofy, Bambi, Donald. Seriously, just a beautiful picture right there. Even the frame and everything. As you can see, the halls are lined with some of our favorite characters. Look at this. Pluto, Mickey, Donald. Love it. And then, of course, we have a trophy case with a whole bunch of memorabilia that was dedicated to the school just from people you know, who were fans of the school and stuff like that. But you can see in here some of the amazing, amazing stuff. And right here, it looks like somebody uh, rededication, June 5th, 2007. These are the scissor cuttings. And I bet you this was for the National Historic Registry. I bet you that's what that was for. But look at that. 
amazing stuff. Right here is the citation, and this was from 1955. Look at that. You can see it as it goes, Walt Disney Elementary School. <laughs> that is awesome. And like I said before, in 2007, it was registered for the National Historic Places. And I say that backwards because it actually is the National Register of Historic Places. But look at that. Amazing. So actually, the students were allowed to name each of the classrooms kind of after a Disney character. And when Walt came to visit, he went into each of the rooms and gave a little backstory to the class itself about the characters. So for instance, they picked Captain Hook for the principal's office, and then they have all of them. They all have a name, whether it be a Disney character or kind of like a Disney theme. And, and I'm going to show you all of them as we go around so that you can just see how cool it is. The gymnasium is named Pleasure Island. Sleepy for the speech room. This I want to show you a little bit. It's a little bit dark in here, so I had to switch to a low light lighting. Low light lighting. <laughs> but you see these wooden plaques up here. These are the ones that Disney actually commissioned Bob Moore to actually build for the school for its opening. And they're still here, still on the walls, 64 years later. That's amazing. And from what I found out, is that they weren't all completed yet. Most of the cutouts were done, but they needed to be painted and there was directions on them on what they should do. So you have Peter Pan, the three little pigs. Ooh, Mickey Mouse over here in the corner. And what's really awesome about this auditorium is that it's the original auditorium. And actually, Walt Disney stood on the stage. Pretty interesting. I found this picture and I wanted to include it because you can see Walt Disney standing in the auditorium like I showed you and behind him you could see the Mickey Mouse and Pluto wooden plaques and I think that is amazing. And this is definitely one of the most interesting pieces. When Walt Disney came, he actually donated one of these carpets to every child that was going to the school and uh, there was blue and pink and this one's a pink one but he gave these out. Look at how cool that is. Look at the detail. And this was donated back to the school and framed and put here. But I think that's amazing. <laughs> Castle of Dreams. And that's the cafeteria. How cool is that? Peg leg point for the nurse's station. And we have a wonderful It's a Small World mural right here. And of course, the halls also have Walt himself. Look at that. What a good picture. What a handsome gentleman. <laughs> and then most of the classrooms themselves have unique names like Bambi, Dumbo, and Donald Duck. I like Donald. The thing is, this was a huge honor for Walt Disney. When he was going to school, he was actually told he was the second dumbest kid in the class. They had no patience for anyone with an imagination or showed any sign of creativity. So this really did make him feel special. And I'm glad things turned out the way they did. So that's going to do it for me. Uh, I am so thankful for the Pennsbury School District for allowing me to go in and just show you what I could show you. Uh, one of Some of those pieces in there are one of a kind. Like I said, it is now nationally registered in a historical place. And it's definitely full of Disney history. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.